That huge development in the Colorado movie theater shooting word now that suspect James Holmes may have mailed a notebook detailing his deadly plot to the University of Colorado. GMA weekend anchor Dan Harris has been following every development of this story, joins us now from Aurora this morning. And good morning to you, Dan. Josh, good morning to you. The investigation into the lethal plot allegedly hatched in the apartment building right behind me is heating up this morning with that disturbing new discovery. Overnight, while the windows at the apartment of suspect James Holmes were fixed up and people were allowed back into a place formerly rigged with booby traps, behind the scenes, investigators were busy analyzing a notebook believed to be written by Holmes, which ABC News has learned was mailed to the University of Colorado, where Holmes had been a student until dropping out last month. Fox News is reporting the spiral notebook was mailed to a psychiatrist at the university and that it contains, quote, full details about how he was going to kill people, drawings of what he was going to do in it, drawings and illustrations of the massacre. They're going to start going through it, looking for pre-planning, motivation, purchase of weapons. One of the sources who spoke to Fox indicated the package arrived on campus on July 12th, more than a week before the massacre, but wasn't found until this past Monday during a search of the mailroom, raising questions about whether the massacre could have been avoided. Campus officials call that report inaccurate and say the package was delivered by the post office on the same day that it was found. Those officials are refusing to say whether Holmes was seeing a psychiatrist, although they insist they handled his case correctly all along. To the best of our knowledge at this point, we, we did everything that we, that we think we should have done. On a brighter note this morning, we've learned that three of the hospitals treating the wounded have agreed to reduce or eliminate their medical bills. Many of the victims are young and uninsured.